what is up guys this is tito back with another video on the redmi note 10 pro and today in this video i'm going to be showing you the latest cherry OS version 3.9 official build based on android 12 l and this is the 18 july 2022 build and today is 23rd july so i have been using this rom for more than i would say five days now and my impressions with this particular rom has been really really amazing yes i have said earlier that the project zephyrus rom is still one of the best roms out there for the redmi note 10 pro but here the cherry os is still almost i can say a king in terms of this customization department and the custom rom department so yeah i would say you can definitely choose whatever you like but i personally liked both the cherry os is still a really amazing option in my frank opinion so this is how the about section looks like on top we got the cherry os logo this is a big logo i would say and here the android version shows as android 12 l and if you keep tapping on it and make this clock to like this 12 o'clock of course it shows the android 12 l's easter egg let me go back we have the cherry os version right here 3.9 and we have the maintainers name Niranjan and Madhav. So huge thanks to the developers for this amazing ROM. And we have the security patch of July 5th, 2022. So of course, latest security patch you will get. The stock kernel is the Vantum kernel and its Linux status shows as enforcing. And the build date here is 17 July, 2022. In the system settings, we got the gesture settings right here. We have the quick tap or this is the back tap you can say that works fine. Also, we have the quickly open camera and in the system navigation gestures, in the settings, we got the swipe to invoke assistant that works perfectly fine. And the left edge, right edge customization is there. Also, there is the pill length customization. So you can customize the length of the spill bar, but there is no thickness customization as of right now. And amount of screen height to be used as the back gesture option is there. If you want to use that for some reason in the advanced gestures, we have the extended swipe action. And of course, you can customize these many things. Let me go back. We have the back gesture haptic, the back gesture animation and the full screen gestures as well. The two button and three button navigations are there. One handed mode works perfectly fine here. No problems with that. Then we got the swipe break screenshot. And with that, you can do the shared edit, delete and the Google lens feature. And also there is the capture mode feature. If you are somewhere where there is a lot of scrolling space, the double tap to check phone is there. Then the prevent ringing option is there. Let me go back. We have the updater so you can check for updates from right here. And also it shows the Cherry's version 3.9 right here. So that looks beautiful, I would say. By the way, if you don't know how to actually flash this from, you will find the guides in the description. Do not worry about that. Right now, let's just quickly talk about the stock launcher. Of course, you are getting the pixel launcher over here. As you can see, you can disable the shy sense and stuff, but there is no double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen. That's simply not present. And the widgets are working perfectly fine. If you're noticing the animations, they just look beautiful, I would say, as you are noticing. So yeah, no problems with the animations whatsoever. The whole UI is running at 120 Hertz and the experience overall is buttery smooth. No problems whatsoever. Yes, there are minor choppiness here and there, but that's regarding the specs of the device like 732G only can handle this much. Also, let me just open the test UFO website and you will see over here that. So as you can see right now, it has synced and 120 Hertz refresh rate is showing up over there. So yes, 120 FPS is working perfectly fine over here. No problems with that in the display. Also, one more thing that I want to show you is that data partition right now in this particular ROM is F2FS. So yes, because of F2FS, the whole UI just feels really, really smoother. And yes, you will need a separate recovery and stuff to actually flash this ROM. And of course, those recoveries will be linked in the description. Do not worry. Now, swiping up on the home screen gets to the app drawer and swiping down gets to the quick setting panel. No problems with those. And here the stock camera. Let's talk about that first and here. This is the stock camera that we will get. We have the MIUI camera right out of the box. And yes, ultra wide angle lens is working fine. Then the 2x zooming option is there. And even with the front camera and stuff, as you are noticing, it's working perfectly fine. Even with portrait mode, that's not a problem. The MIUI camera is just a flawless experience almost, I can say. But yes, the vlog mode and stuff is there. The slow motion may not work over here. And the 61 megapixel mode is buggy if you're taking outdoor sunlight pictures. And yes, with video settings, you can shoot up to 10 to 30 FPS with a front camera. And with rear camera, you have the up to 4K 30 FPS option right here. Of course, you can go 10 to 60 FPS and stuff if you want to. Also, all these options are present in the pro video mode too. So yes, you can shoot pro videos with like shutter speed control and stuff. All those things are still here. Now let's talk about the quick setting panel. Before I do that, let me talk about this Bluetooth headset stuff. Yes, I have connected to this Boat Rockers 335. And with that, let me actually show you. This is how the volume panel looks like. The volume panel just looks beautiful. If I go into a particular settings, 
it will look even like more beautiful i would say and here this is how you can adjust the volume just normally and choose the percentage right there also if you tap here you will see the expanded volume panel that works perfectly fine but here we have the uh, like output audio switching option let me show you how it looks in the like home screen this is how it looks and yes the whole ui when it does this kind of animation it just looks straight up beautiful and of course you can control the bluetooth headset's volume and the phone speaker volume from right here no issues with those and once you are playing music let me show you this is how it looks and here as you can see it shows which song you are playing over here also let me show you how it looks like in the lock screen because i want to show you the lock screen over here as you can see this is how it looks like the lock screen actually looks beautiful once you are playing music and of course you can switch the like device the output device from right here again so right now let me talk about the quick setting panel shall we and here this is how it looks like it looks beautiful again we have the wi-fi mobile data and the bluetooth toggle then we have the flashlight and the bluetooth devices battery and stuff also shows up in the status bar and quick setting panel both no issues with that the dark theme the auto rate night light hotspot etc options is there and the always on display you can toggle on charging and stuff and we have the airplane mode the nearby share also the screen recorder option is there and you get a lot of options for that we have the device audio and microphone audio at the same time recording option also we have the skip timer option then we have the bigger file size limit lower quality for smaller sized recording and stuff and definitely you can choose these options if you want to like do a lot more in-depth screen recording stuff and here we have the heads up then the battery saver the do not disturb and the data saver is there the google home controls are there and we have the reboot toggle too the sound toggle options and stuff is there you can tap and hold on it for the volume panel stuff extra dim option is there the anti flicker mode is also there and there is a live display too and there is a outdoor brightness mode this actually makes the display really really bright you can use this feature if you want to but also this anti flicker or disturbing is working perfectly fine here and of course the brightness slider looks like this and it looks beautiful i would say and here let me show you if you want to like have the advanced reboot yes you have to turn it on from the settings once you do that this is how it looks like you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from right here now let me talk about the settings and here this is how it looks like inside cherry settings you will get all the customizations just notice how much options are there and in the about section of course you can run to the developers and stuff and here we have the status bar section at first so if you want to skip this customization part you can definitely do that from the time step on the bottom and here we have the double tap sleep and we have the traffic indicators the clock and date customization the vaulty icon customization is also there and we have the combined signal icons colored status bar icons and stuff and we can actually choose this battery style and just notice there are plethora of battery styles to choose from and here i have been using it with the landscape art style a on the bottom over here but you have huge huge amount of options for the battery styles itself and we have the battery percentage inside or next to the icon and you can choose between all of these the toggle colorful battery icon is also there then inside status bar we have the headset blue that's the icons and here it shows the icons of the each status bar icons i would say so you will get to know before you enable what things you are enabling so that's great we have the quick setting panel customization the transparency you can choose right here and we have the mic and privacy indicator and stuff the brightness slider position you can also choose that to show always or show bottom i have enabled that already so that's why you are seeing the brightness slider just appearing on the bottom everywhere right now let me show you there is the auto brightness icon and in the theme section we have the settings layout you can change the layout of the settings to aosp oxygen 11 12 and the cherry voice and the cherry clean option we have the use black theme that's the pitch black theme so amulet or deep blacks are working perfectly fine here and the clear all button is there for the notifications you can actually choose the buttons from right here and the monitor theme engine you can customize that the dark theme option is there and you can schedule it then we have the headline body fonts just notice there are a plethora of fonts over here and we have the icon shapes and we can choose the icon shapes from right here also the icon packs you can go with the akira's one and stuff if you want to have those those icons are still working perfectly fine here and we have the signal icon styles too there are a plethora of options for that too and we have the wi-fi icons and you can choose from again a huge amount of icons in the button section we have the on-screen nav bar and we again have the system nav gesture settings over here you can invert the three button layout if you're using the three buttons and the long press power button toggle torch is there let me go back inside animations we have the animation style the duration and interpolator options now inside lock screen we have the double tap to sleep and we have the double tap to wake on those lock screen charging info media cover art and stuff let me go back 
and here inside power menu we have the advanced debug option you can enable a lot more things in the notifications we have the in call vibration option and the blink flashlight for incoming call let me scroll down we have the battery charging light ambient edge lighting option then the heads up you can actually like enable it if you want to the notification header options are there and we have the misc settings over here there is a charging animation then the ignore secure level flags unlimited google photo storage unlock higher fps in games and the unlock higher quality streams options there 90 fps and stuff in bgmi you can get no problems whatsoever with that right now let's dive into the display settings this is how it looks like we again have the live display and we have the like outdoor brightness mode and stuff over here too anti flicker mode is there then there is the picture calibration also there is the picture adjustment too we have the dark theme the font size display size wallpaper zoom effect and we have the smooth display option prevent accidental wake up is the pocket detection again and we have the allow window level blurs the double tap to wake and the wake up on plug and the display cutout options are there but of course i have been using with the default one that works perfectly fine as you are noticing once i'm using the front camera there is that black border so you won't be having any issues while video calling and stuff it will have this black border the bigger black border on the front camera so yes there will be no problems while doing a video call or using front camera normally in the wallpapers and styles this is how it looks like we have the accent colors you can go with the basic colors too if you want then we have the themed icons and the app grid by the way i got this wallpaper from twitter i'll link it below if i can but yes definitely you can use any wallpaper that you'd like to and if you go into the change wallpapers these are the wallpapers that you will get we have the living universe and stuff you can download any live wallpaper that you are willing to now let's jump into the battery settings i don't see the battery charging cycle and stuff over here in any rom i cannot really see a battery charging cycle on the latest android 12 l roms in android 11 i could see the battery charging cycles but here right now on the redmi note 10 pro i cannot simply see that but yes battery temperature option is there and you can see the battery temperature right now it's at 38 degrees and we have the battery usage the battery saver and the adaptive battery preference and stuff let me talk about the battery life right now i have tested it with the aku battery app i have been getting about 9 hours and 44 minutes of screen on time here it shows and i have done a lot of charging cycles if you look at this as you can see right now my battery health is at 91 percent so that's good enough i would say and yes, 9 hours of screen on time is very good and still I would say the project Zephyrus ROM and this Cherry Sway still gives you really great battery life, no problems whatsoever with those. And yes, fast charging is also working fine here so you shouldn't worry about anything regarding the battery. Yes, the battery life is great, the fast charging working great. So yeah, the charging cycles and stuff is not showing up but that's fine I would say. You don't really need to see that. In the sound and vibration settings, this is how it looks like. We have the media call ring etc. volume controls. If you scroll down more, we have the volume panel customization. Then we got the Dolby Atmos and we have the smart audio, the music, movie etc. like preference. The sound quality overall with the Bluetooth headset, the audio jack and the speakers and stuff are really great over here in this ROM. No problems whatsoever I have faced with the sound quality or clarity at all. And we have the dial pad tones, then the charging sound and vibration. Then we have the touch vibration and the per app volume control. The screenshot sound you can disable from right here. Notification sound if active option is there. And we have the clear speaker option. If your speakers are muffled, you can definitely clear it out with this option. And we have the Mi Audio Direct 2. And from here you can choose these headset presets. I have been using it with the Utrition. The sound quality with the U3 via the headphone jack was great and we have all these presets again the bass booster and stuff is there and we have the smart scenes then we also have the hi-fi audio option if you have a really great pair of wired headset you can definitely use that feature and the haptic feedback overall all over the ui you can customize from right here now let's jump into the security and in the settings of it we do have the quick unlock if you are looking for that also in terms of the face unlock and stuff yes there is the when swiping up unlock screen for the face unlock and i have already added two fingerprints and let me show you in terms of the app lock yes there is the app lock and we have all these apps like the google photos and stuff are working perfectly fine also you can like hide their notification and stuff with this cool apps notification option let me show you the security stuff right now if I double tap on the status bar, as you can see, this is how the always on display looks like. It looks very beautiful and yes, double tap to wake 2 from the always on display is working perfectly fine. No problems with that. And again, double tap to sleep is working fine. Now talking with the theme scan speed, let me just tap it and as you can see, it unlocks. So yes, no issues that I have faced with the theme bit scanner, but yes, I do have to mention this animation of unlocking is slightly choppy, I feel. Like, let me show you one more time. Just notice it feels sometimes that it's like slightly chopping out the animation 
but that's not a problem at all it works fine the thing which cannot simply unlock the device no issues with that and here this is how the animation looks once you're just pressing the power button this looks beautiful i would say and yes fingerprint speed has been great no problems with that right now let me show you the face unlock and for that you have to swipe up like i have to swipe up because i have set it like that let me show you one more time and yes the face unlock speed is pretty fast it shows recognizing face and it unlocks perfectly fine once you are pointing the device towards your face so yeah face unlock has been not a problem whatsoever and yes talking about the app lock this is how the app locking ui looks like you just have the fingerprint scanner once it shows a pop-up and yes the app particularly unlocks no issues whatsoever with that and the animation just notice how beautiful it looks while going home and stuff by the way i have been also using a sd card in this rom and yes sd card is working perfectly fine here no issues with that now let's talk about the general things like the ir blaster and stuff if they are working if you're seeing that light over there that simply means that the ir blaster is working perfectly great no problems whatsoever with the ir blaster on this rom also the safety net test passes right out of the box over here so you can use banking apps without any worries also the dm info stays as l1 if you're noticing so there will be no problems while streaming amazon prime or netflix videos in 1080p because you do get the L1 certification of DRM right out of the box. Now let's talk about performance. Yes, talking about the general daily driving performance, it has been great. And overall, the scrolling and stuff has been not an issue. Here, just notice the scrolling. Let me just reload it and let's just scroll again. Yes, there is a like slight minor choppiness. But yes, overall, the scrolling has been great. No huge issues that I have faced at all. And with Play Store, it's like a lot more smoother experience, I would say. Let me show you one more time just notice the scrolling is not a problem right now if i show you the split top yes split top feature is working fine again and this is how it looks like you can scroll just like this so yeah no issues whatsoever and if you go into the recent panel this is how it looks like you can have two apps together with the split top feature in the recent panel also if you want to clear all the apps you have to go all the way to the left then clear all and then we have the screenshot and select option right here and if you want to open both of the apps together, the split top apps, you can definitely do that. And here are the Android 20 Geekbench score on this particular ROM with a CPU throttle test. Let me in the comments what do you guys think about the latest Cherry Swiss based on Android 12L on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. I definitely feel this is still one of the best ROMs out there. But yes, the Project Zephyrus was great too. Don't get me wrong, both of the ROMs are great. So if you're confused which ROM to actually flash on your device, I would say watch both of my reviews and just decide what things you need or what things you like more. Between Cherries or Zephyrus, I can prefer both. So huge thanks for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share this video with your friends. If you want them to know how the Android 12 L ROMs are rocking the Redmi Note 10 Pro's experience, please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDNDX signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.